What's going on today guys? Primal Sabbath here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Annex 2179 uh, third release and that is Detective Smith. This was my introduction into the toy line. My buddy John who owns Chicken Fried Toys, great dude, great figures, uh, was the one that actually introduced me to this. We were talking at a, at, uh, I believe it was a Saline County Comic Expo um, about, you know, uh, his line and I was like, oh man, it'd be really cool if you did some like you know, some, some robot cowboys or something, something more sci-fi, you know, kind of got away a little from the, the old West and maybe went to like the sci-fi West. And, uh, he was just like, Hey, look, you'd probably would be really interested, uh, in this. And so I looked it up, uh, saw where big bad, uh, had, had these, had them in stock, looked at the price tag, um, took a deep breath and, and I was all in, <laughs> there was no, uh, there was no, no question at that point because, uh, I just thought it looked, uh, incredible. Uh, so again, this was the third release, and uh, I'm going to repeat what I said about, like, uh, Tanner and Peasy. I wish that these boxes uh, would have made, like, a like a scene all together or something. But unfortunately, they don't. Uh, and, and you know what? That's that's fine. It, it's, it's whatever it is what it is. Uh, but, yeah, so this is Detective Smith. Again, there's the back, just like Tanner and Peasy. Uh, this one has, like, the Toy Pizza and Glios uh, stuff on it. It does not have the Pia Club logo. So maybe, maybe that was uh, why Big Bad was able to uh, secure some of these, um, and why it is essentially it's the exact same, uh, you know, mold and parts as Tanner and Peasy. But this is really where uh, the, the 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 toy line itself shines, and then just about every release from here on out is going to look this great. And by look this great, I mean uh, with this this paint deco. So as you can see. This thing, every single piece on this, uh, more or less, uh, has uh, ha has weathering on it. It's just the figure itself is covered in paint deco. And, like, that is kind of, like, what had me overlooking the price point because these look great. These are not $15 or even $20, you know, uh, Star Wars The Vintage Collection Deluxes. And they're, they're probably not made in the same, uh, uh, like, quantities either, I would think, these being more geared towards uh, collectors like ourselves. Um, so yeah, like this this is this is worth in my opinion every bit of the money. You get a great looking figure. The, the again the paint is spot on. They even painted the the little like cantina here which is removable. I don't know if I if I showed that off on the other uses of this mold uh, which again is pretty neat. Uh, you know, the weapon is also removable and you can see just again it's got a nice black wash all throughout. Uh, the buckles are painted uh, on everything. You can see we've got some kind of pink in here to kind of match this uh, down here. Uh, again, we got the gray, the the like the spare bullets that are like sculpted in on the belt and and on this chest armor piece uh, are all there. Uh, the scarf itself even has um, a bit of a wash. And let's go back to oh, was it Tanner's box? Yes, yeah, Tanner's box. So that kind of sort of looks like Smith. It would be cool if maybe um, we get this color scheme for one of the UD6 detectives uh, in in this. But uh, more or less, like let's get on to Smith's bio, which also really had me hooked. Smith's bio is, uh, you know, that he was just a great detective, and um, you know, he he ended up, uh, and and this is kind of like where the story begins, and and will be told throughout like the rest of the the figures and I'll I'll pa like I'll I'll uh, I'll paste the actual like bio uh in in this video and all the videos going forward but some people don't like to read and I can give you some clip notes but if you want like more details definitely read it um but basically like he was just a great detective and uh after investigating um you know some illegal organ transplant uh operation uh his family all just sort of started dying mysteriously and it uh, it drove him to drinking. Uh, he he is an alcoholic. Now that that part isn't in the story. It's it's I think it's I think it's in another character's bio. But yeah, so like he had also had uh, implants put into him that allowed him to like see um, everything in, in a very like uh, uh, hyper um, detail oriented way. So uh, so his his implants like allowed him to really uh, eye implants, obviously. Uh, allowed him to to like assess crime scenes and then he would just get obsessed and and, and keep on going so uh, anyways that's it but that's the story behind the little cantinas because he is a drunk 
Um, you know, and then like rightfully so, like dude lost his family, right? You know, and it's like I guess uh that that still isn't technically solved uh in the the universe or in the lore or anything like that. But yeah, so despite having all this paint, this guy is it's great. None of the paint wears off. He's got all the same articulation. Blah 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 blah. Uh he like I said has the yellow hair. I don't think I think I think he's actually got a wash on that hair. It doesn't seem as uh as clean as uh Tanner's here. Uh but also, you know, you can see he's got the the regular kind of gray there and not the gold that Tanner and Peasy have. Uh also, of course, like all of these parts are interchangeable between Tanner, Peasy and uh Smith, but uh but yeah, Detective Smith is definitely the one that like holds a, a very um, special place for me in this line because again this was my introduction into not only as as uh not acid rain, uh, annex 2179 but also acid rain world which we will take a look at some of those also in the future i don't know when but i have some here i've got some more on pre-order i got some more i'm looking at ordering and uh and yeah and, that, and that's a whole nother just awesome uh universe of of storytelling and and you have these really cool action figures to kind of you know lay it all out for you uh, also um you know the, the the weathering doesn't stop at just the big weapon. Uh, you get it on these little ones too. Again, just a a thick black wash all around. Um, but it just looks great. It is just fantastic. Uh, this is this is uh, um this is this is quality. Like this is quality in today's one uh, eighteenth scale action figure. I mean, there's six inch figures that don't look this good and don't even articulate this good and and this is just a line that i'm super excited for and like i collect some of the joy toy stuff too but um for me while these are usually 15 to 20 dollars more expensive like per figure usually um they're, they're just the superior product but like joy toy i feel has the more diverse catalog of you know parts and characters so they have uh they have their their ups and their downs their pluses and their minuses but uh but yeah, so that's that's Detective Smith. If you can find one, I definitely recommend picking it up. Big Bad Toy Store is now sold out. Um, you know, I, th I think he, he's starting to go up in price. So if it's something that you kind of have your eye on, I wouldn't shy away from it. Originally, I just wanted Detective Smith. And then I started looking at the others that were out and the ones that we'll eventually get around to reviewing. And I was like, you know what? I just, I got to have all of it. And I saw how expensive Tanner and Peasy were, uh, starting to get and i was like oh no way <laughs> no way i'm gonna i'm gonna pay all that money and i was like you know what I, I i just need all of it i gotta have all of it not very often um you know am, am i like so impressed with a toy line where I, I just need all the releases uh there's genuinely only two other toy lines uh and that's uh botcon exclusives and, and beast war stuff as you guys uh well know uh this channel for for having so uh, yeah, there we go. There's our three cowboys, and uh, we'll get into uh, the more, I guess, punky aspect of the cyberpunk Annex 2179 stuff uh, in the next review, which I'm also very excited for. Uh, I just, I love the, the aesthetic that all of these figures have, and, and this is like, these were the first three out the gate, with two of them being um, exclusives, and uh, you know, fortunately I was able to get the two, despite PZ being hard to find. Um, and, and, and so like, uh, right now there's, there's, there's really only like two bucks shared between the line, but there's only, you know, seven, seven, eight, nine, something like that figures that, that have been announced and, and are released and, and so on and so forth. So we'll get to like, see some more of that, but that's been it for detective Smith. Uh, again, like I love the story and like the story is kind of hard to come by cause it's, it's really on, only on toy listings. So you have to go to like a couple of different websites you know, to get all of the, all of the story. So fortunately, like I've, I've copied and pasted everything and I'll start putting it in these videos. If you're watching this and you didn't watch Tanner and PZ's video, or you watch Tanner and PZ videos and now you're watching this, like you go back and I'll have like their individual bios posted in their videos. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.